Welcome to ChemDoodle Shorts. I'm Mary, your ChemDoodle Pro. Let's learn about molecular and empirical formulas. Each chemical molecule has a molecular formula. A molecular formula is a formula that expresses the exact number of each type of atom in a molecule. To better understand, let's look at ethene. Ethene is a molecule made up of only carbon and hydrogen atoms. There are one, two carbon atoms in ethene, and one, two, three, four hydrogen atoms. Now we know the exact number of carbons and hydrogens in ethene to write the molecular formula. To determine the molecular formula in ChemDoodle, select the molecule, then select the structure menu, descriptors, constitutional, and molecular formula. Let's paste the molecular formula to the doodle board. The molecular formula for ethene is C2H4. It tells us that there are two atoms of carbon and four atoms of hydrogen, matching what we counted earlier. Note that the number of each atom present is written as a subscript following the atom symbol. The molecular formula of a molecule is typically the most common formula you will use in chemistry. Let's learn about the empirical formula of a molecule. An empirical formula is a formula that gives the simplest ratio of the different atoms in a molecule. Looking at ethene again, from the molecular formula, we know that there are two atoms of carbon and four atoms of hydrogen. The greatest common divisor, or the greatest common factor, of two and four is two. So we divide the subscript values in the molecular formula by the greatest common divisor to get the empirical formula. For carbon, two atoms of carbon divided by two, the greatest common divisor, is one. For hydrogen, four atoms of hydrogen divided by two, the greatest common divisor, is two. Generating the empirical formula in ChemDoodle is a similar process as the molecular formula. First, select the molecule. Then select the structure menu. Descriptors. Constitutional. And now, empirical formula. Let's paste the empirical formula to the doodle board. The empirical formula of ethene is CH2. This tells us that for every carbon atom, there are two hydrogen atoms, just as we calculated. Note that when no number is present after an element, like carbon here, the number is understood to be one. Let's take a look at another molecule, propene. Like ethene, propene is a hydrocarbon made up of only carbon and hydrogen atoms. There are one, two, three atoms of carbon, and one, two, three, four, five, six atoms of hydrogen. So the molecular formula is C3H6. For the empirical formula, the greatest common divisor of three and six is three. For carbon, three divided by three is one. For hydrogen, six divided by three is two. So the empirical formula of propene is CH2. From the structures, you easily notice that ethene and propene are different molecules with different molecular formulas. However, their empirical formulas are the same, CH2. Different molecules can have the same empirical formula because the empirical formula is the simplest ratio of elements in a molecule. In both ethene and propene, there are two hydrogens for every carbon. Let's look at one more molecule, ethanol. There are one, two atoms of carbon, one, two, three, four, five, six atoms of hydrogen, and one atom of oxygen. So the molecular formula of ethanol is C2H6O. For the empirical formula, the greatest common divisor of 2, 6, and 1 is 1. So the empirical formula is C2H6O. It's the same as the molecular formula. Sometimes the molecular formula and the empirical formula are the same because the ratio of atoms is already in the simplest form in the molecular formula. You've learned that a molecule's molecular formula conveys the total number of each individual atom, while the empirical formula indicates the simplest ratio of these atoms. These numbers are shown as subscripts in the formulas and are whole numbers. While molecular formulas are the most common formulas used, empirical formulas are important in experiments when studying and determining molecules. Thanks for watching ChemDoodle Shorts.